In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. And 13 years ago, I found myself in a horror story of my own making. I used to live in New York City with my wife, Alice. I wrote crime novels starring a fictional detective named Alex Casey. They made me famous. But then I killed off Casey. Can't even talk to me. I need to write something different. Something new, but nothing works. I, I can't take it. Alan, you've been working on this for over two years. You need a break. I heard about this peaceful little town. It'll be the perfect place to clear your head. So Alice convinced me to visit Bright Falls, a small, quiet town in Washington. Just what I needed. First, we stopped at the local diner to get our cabin key from the landlord. As soon as I stepped in the door, the waitress, Rose, recognized me. Said she was my biggest fan, had all my books. After she made me promise her an autograph, I asked about the landlord. Rose said he must have gone to the restroom. I checked the back of the diner. It was dark, foreboding. The kind of place that made your skin itch. That's when Barbara Jagger appeared. An older woman in a vintage funeral gown, like something out of a 1960s horror novel. She said the landlord hadn't been able to make it and handed me the cabin key. She insisted she'd come by later to check on us and to meet Alice.
Alice and I drove through the majestic landscape to our cabin. The little wooden house stood alone on a tiny island near the shore of Cauldron Lake, in the bowl of an impressive caldera. Just Alan. It's something, all right. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Surprise! Alice, what, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of Damn it, Alice, you passed. Everyone keeps. Hey, hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in. So now you want to get me committed? No, no, it's not like that. That's not. Alan. Don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! When I came to, I was behind the wheel of a crash car on a forest road. I felt like I had woken up from one nightmare only to find myself in another. I remember diving in after Alice. So how was I here? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I'd planned to use for the next novel I'd never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. Departure. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor or an eye disease. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I found a page of writing, but it made no sense. A fragment of some demented horror story. I realized that the shadowy figure was the character from the page I just found, the Taken. A man taken over by a creature of supernatural darkness called the Dark Presence.
keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I would come to realize the lake does something to works of art created here. It lifts the story from the page and gives it form. It turns fiction into terrible truth. The manuscript was becoming real. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. You're a patient in my clinic. Have been for a while now. I found myself stuck in Cauldron Lake Lodge, Dr. Hartman's clinic. He tried to convince me I was a patient of his, that I had imagined everything. I knew he was lying. Soon enough, his true colors would be revealed. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. 